Hello! Do you have a movie file that contains multiple audio tracks and you'd like to work with that movie file, but the program you're using doesn't let you pick the audio track that you want to use? So one solution is to use FFmpeg to extract out the audio tracks and then you can just load in whichever one you need. Okay, so let's look at a demonstration here. I have on my screen, I have this movie file that's loaded into VLC. Uh, you can see here if I go into the audio menu, there are two different tracks. So let's listen to this first one. On the right side, you can okay. see. There's the okay, default what? track. Now I'm going to switch it over to commentary, second track, and we'll play that. Well, Proof begins to realize here that he has... Okay, so you can see two very different tracks. Now let's see what happens when we try to load this video file into Blender. So I'm going in Blender now, I'm going to add movie and here it is. And you can see here inside of Blender, uh, the interface, it allows you to select a sound to bring in, uh, but not which track. So when I click on add movie strip, it'll take some time and it'll give me these two strips, one, video and one audio so I don't have both of them and the one that it happened to bring in on the right side, you can... was the first one that we're listening to the default track so if I wanted to bring in the second one can't do it just with blender but that's where FFmpeg comes in so what is FFmpeg well it's a free cross-platform tool that you can use to do all sorts of things with media files uh, I did a video a while ago about how to take an animated gif and turn it into a bunch of frames that you can load into blender because you can't load in animated GIFs in Blender, not directly. So with this solution, there's a bunch of advantages. Uh, first of all, it works for a wide variety of media files. It's really fast to run. Uh, if you're using it on Linux, it's probably already installed on your computer. Uh, and as an added bonus, you can extract your audio tracks without any kind of re-encoding. So you get that original quality. Uh, of course, there are some disadvantages. First of all, FFmpeg is a command line interface tool. So uh, if you don't like working with the terminal, well, maybe I can still convince you to give this a try. Uh, another disadvantage is that it's hard to tell what track you actually need to pull out. So uh, what I'm going to show you is just pulling out everything and then figuring out which one was the correct one. And finally, if you wanted to extract out without taking too much disk space or re-encoding, uh, you do have to know what the audio codec is for, uh, for that extraction. Uh, but you know what, we'll, we will talk about that at the end of the video. All right, so the first thing to know is how to actually get it. But you know what, if you're on Linux, like I said, you might already have it. So let's find out. You can open up a terminal and just type in the command FFmpeg, press enter. And if you get an error message, then you don't have it. You have to install it. But if you get a message like this, then you do have it, so you can just skip ahead to the next chapter. Okay, so let's say you don't have it. If you are on a Debian-based Linux operating system, like I am, then you could run a command like this, sudo apt install ffmpeg, and that'll do the trick for you. If you're on uh, other distros, then use the appropriate command there. If you're on Windows, well, then you can download the prepared executables, the exe files, by going to the ffmpeg website and scrolling down to grab the exe files that you need. Uh, so download those, install it, and then you are good to go. And, and while we're here uh, looking at the web browser, I just want to point out that the test video file that I'm demonstrating with is available here at this URL if you want to pick it up for yourself and just follow along. Okay, so if you have FFmpeg installed, the first step then is to go to the folder that the movie file is located in uh, inside of a terminal. So uh, for me, I can do that from my file manager. Here's that movie file. I just need to right click here and I'll go to window and say terminal here. So hopefully you have a similar option. Otherwise you'd have to open up a terminal and then use the CD command to get to wherever that file is. So here is my terminal. I can type in LS and you can see there is that movie file right there matching up to my file explorer. Okay, so now that we're here, it's time to figure out how many tracks we need to export. So when we were looking at it in VLC, we did see already that from uh, here, we can see we have two tracks, but I want to show you how you can do that using the ffprobe command that comes part of the package with ffmpeg. So let's go into our terminal. And the way to do it is to run a command like this. You start by typing ffprobe, that's the name of the command. You can type dash i to mean like the input file you want to look at and then the name of the movie file. So I can just start typing test and press tab to autocomplete and I'll press enter. 
So the FF probe command gives you lots of output. What we're looking for is any line that starts with the word stream and then also has the word audio in it. So here's one and here is another. So there we go, those are the two audio tracks that this movie file has. All right, so now we know we have two, but you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and show you a different command you can run that'll show you just what you need to see. Uh, just because we're at the terminal and I, I, I really like using the terminal. So the way we do that is first we press the up arrow key to recall that last command, and then we have to start typing in a bunch of stuff like this. This is uh, just to make sure that the standard error goes to standard output, don't worry about that. And then we do the pipe, and then we say grep, and we can just say stream.stream.star audio, and then press enter. So there we go, we run that command with those additional uh, bits in there, and then now we can see very clearly we only have two audio tracks that we need to pull out. Now the one thing though is that it says 0, 1 here and 0, 8 here. Don't worry about those numbers 1 and 8 because when we move on to the next stage we won't be using those. Alright, so now we know we have two tracks to extract, now let's go ahead and do the extraction. So with that we will use the command ffmpeg, so we start by typing ffmpeg. And again we'll say dash i to say that we're going to give it the input file to work with and that's the test5.mkv again. Now here's where we need to type in a bunch more. For this first extraction, we're just going to dump it out to an uncompressed wave format. That means it's going to take a lot more file space, uh, but it's really easy to do and it's pretty fast. So let's go ahead and do that now. And, and the other bonus is we don't need to worry about what the uh, audio codec is. Okay, so next we type in dash map. This means we're going to focus in on a specific thing for this input file. Then we type the number zero, which refers to the first input file we have, the only input file we have, then a colon, and then the letter A, which means we want to look at audio tracks, another colon, and now we're gonna type the number zero, because zero represents the first track. And then after that, we type in the name of the output file we want to create. So because it's the track number zero of this movie file, I will type track zero dot uh, WAV. So by giving it .WAV as the extension, then we're basically telling FFmpeg that we want just to take that audio track and dump it out as that uncompressed WAV format. So that's it. So let's go ahead and press enter and it's done. So if I look over in my file explorer, uh, there it is right there and we can play it back. You know, FFmpeg comes with another tool called FFplay. So we can do this all in terminal. I'll type FFplay and then that name of that track that I just created, track 0.wav, press enter. On the right side you can see, well, guess what? Okay, so from listening to that, we know that that was the first track and let's just say that's not the one we want. So now we're gonna pull out the next track. So what we can do is just, again, we'll press the up arrow key. So a, few, a couple of times. So that brings back the ffmpeg command we'd entered and we just need to change a few things. So going back to this first part, this 0a0. So zero, that last zero was referring to the first audio track. Now we need to pull out the next audio track. So we just change that to one. And if we had to do the third audio track, then it would be two and then three and so on and so on. Uh, so we're also gonna change the name of the output file to track one and that's it. So now, this is our new command, ffmpeg-i, the input file name, dash map, zero, colon, a, colon, and then the number of the track, and then the name of the output file. I'll press enter, and it's done again. And here we go, let's play it this time again with, tr with our ffplay command. So play tr track1.wav. Yeah, and that's so definitely different. Begins to realize so, that is how you can do your extractions. So at this point, you can go ahead and load that uh, audio track inside of whatever tool you're working with. So in my case, trying to load it into Blender, I just go back to Blender, I make sure I'm back at the start. I will go to Add, Sound, and then pick out that specific track. And if I turn waveforms on, we can tell definitely I've got that different track in there now. I can go ahead and start doing my editing and whatever else. Okay, time for some fun bonus content. So first up, how we can do the extraction uh, without you know, dumping it to an uncompressed file, because if I jump back to my terminal, we can see here 
that these different audio files that I just created are quite large. Uh, the first one, 8.5 megabytes, uh, that's a big chunk of space considering it's so small. So with a little bit of extra work, we can uh, extract it out in its original form and it'll be a smaller file for sure, maybe a bit faster too. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to know is exactly what the audio codec was. So the command we ran before with ffprobe will give us that information. So I'm just gonna press the up arrow key to find it. And where was that? ffprobe, there we go. This was the command, press enter. So right over here, you can see after the word audio colon, it says AAC, AAC. So AAC is the audio encoding. That means that when we uh, do the extraction, we need to do a few things. Like first, we're gonna change the extension of the file that we're creating to .aac, because that is what it lines up to. And we also need a, a couple of extra things as well. So let's go back to our command. So that was ff mpeg, here we go. So we had this, and let's go ahead and keep this part. So what we're gonna change though, we're gonna delete this for now, because we need to insert a few things. We have to type dash c, and dash c is, is for codec, and we just say copy. So it means we're just gonna take the original input and just copy it straight to the output. And then now we give it the file name. So this is still track one, but this time I'll call it AAC instead of WAV. And I run that command and it's done. And if I take a look at the files again, you can see here is our new AAC file, 164 kilobytes compared to the two megabytes if we dump it out as an uncompressed audio file. So that's how you can do that. Now, as a second bonus, I want to tell you how you can write a loop to do all this FFmpeg command for you. Uh, so let's say, for example, you had eight different tracks that you needed to pull out. You don't want to have to type out the command eight times. There's a way to loop through it. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is how to loop through it if you already know how many tracks you need to export, and we're just gonna dump everything out again to WAV, so then we don't have to worry in case uh, the different audio tracks have different encodings. So you start by saying four, we're creating a little bit of a for loop, and we say, let's say four X in, and then here's where you type in some numbers. So like we had with track zero, track one, so we have the two tracks, so we write them out in the same way. We press enter, we type do, press enter, and now we type in our ffmpeg command, and it's gonna be more or less the same with one big difference. So this part is the same, and map is the same, but when we get to this part, zero colon a colon, this is where we make use of the x that we just put in here. This becomes our variable for our loop that will, each time the loop runs, it'll it'll go from it'll start at zero and then it'll go to one. And if we had more numbers, it would go to those numbers. So we just type dollar sign x. So now that's going to be our representation of the track number we want. And same thing for the output. This time I'm going to call it out dash and then dollar sign x dot wav so there we go that's how we can write that command you so it makes use of our looping variable press enter and then done press enter and then it'll do everything for us no more typing after that uh, so obviously um, if we only have uh, two tracks doesn't make that much sense but if you had a whole bunch then definitely that is something that you might want to look to doing Okay, so that is how you can extract your audio tracks out of any movie file, either as an uncompressed WAV format or using a straight raw copy. I uh, hope you did like that. If you did, please do give this a like and consider subscribing so you can see more content. And also, I'd like to get your opinion on today's session. I was recording it with a very cheerful voice uh, just to see if people like these videos more when I am way more energetic and enthusiastic than normal. So did you like that? I would love to hear your comments. Please do put in some comments to let me know if you like happy mic or if you prefer normal mic because normal mic is actually a lot easier for me. Anyway, that's it. Uh, thanks again and see you next time. Bye now.